Hey guys, so one of our users has asked about the Find Free, obviously, and checking on the power resume function as well as changing filaments mid print. So at the moment, we're printing a small uh, stack which is 15 millimeters by 15 by uh, 150 in height. So we're currently, I don't know if you can see this, there you go, 20 minutes in of about an hour and 40 minutes so what we're going to do is we're going to pause the print uh, by way of power failure so we're going to go hey google turn off printer there you go so uh, that has cut power just as um a power cut would now normally power cuts you know they're a few seconds um it's very very they'll go on for hours if they do obviously you're going to have a bigger impact on the print but when it is just a few seconds you're not losing as much heat so we are going to turn that power back on hey google turn on printer i do use a smart plug which is why um uh, i i've done it that way so down here the screen is just starting up okay that's the power started um, no movement yet up here and it has said down here sorry there you go resume the uncompleted print job we're going to click yes and then we'll come straight back on 21 minutes into an hour and, 40, uh, an hour and 44 left so as you can see up there it is just uh, taking the temperatures back up so if you are around and your print you know you know there's a power cut by the looks of it, it's not the end of the world. But what I am going to do is, draw, um, I'm just going to put a little mark on here, which will show exactly where the print was up to uh, when things are finished. So if I zoom in a little bit, I've put a little mark in black permanent marker. There you go. There's a little bit of string in. This is where it, it uh, finished off. I'm just going to pull that off. As we zoom back out, you can see that the printer thinks it is restarting again. The nozzle is back up to 100, 197, and now it is raising the bed. But yes, as requested, that is a power resume function. It seems to be resuming fine, and a little later in the video we'll check uh, how strong that is. It's going to come down here and just and have a look there's that little bit stuck up where it finished last time which it seemed to have pushed inside now and you can see it is now just doing the layer above I'm trying to get a better camera angle Yeah, it seems to be resumed as normal. You can see we're now a couple of layers above where that black line was, which was right on the join. So, like I say, later on we'll have a look at exactly how strong that is. Okay, quick look at um, pause and print, which I've done there. I've not even looked where the print is. There you go, so once it's paused, you can then down here on settings and you've got an option there to change the filament which we're going to cancel uh, you can turn the nozzle light on or off or change your print speed um, temperatures platform temperatures so on but it's this button just here on the left which um, allows you to change the filament and then it will carry on from exactly where it is uh, with a different filament so hey guys, this is the finished product as you can see um, this bit is where the filament uh where the power ran out i'm just trying to maintain some sort of focus you can see there's a slight ridge around um you can feel a slight ridge it does show really badly let's say on this filament because the slightest um imperfection is noticeable 
it's like a bright pinky peachy orange um silk this one um however it is incredibly strong i'm going to try and oh, there you go that bit's broke as it always did that is where the color change was um i just testing it before that bit broke off um but this bottom bit maybe i've not got enough leverage on it but no matter how much pressure I've been trying to put on that, that just will not move. Ouch. Yeah, I've now got super glue on my fingers. I put a bit of super glue on there to try, <laughs> to try and hold it in place because both last night and today when I've been trying to... Um, just test the strength of the bottom bit I managed to break the top bit um but yeah that's where the filament change was and it was paused for a while um I'm not sure uh but it just didn't seem to adhere the layer as well um but this bit where the power resume was I'm going to attempt to zoom in there you go so you can see there where that little ridge around it is this is a little bubble just down there, which um, is where the nozzle finished. It stopped in place when the power cut was. Um, but as you say, incredibly strong. I'm putting some real pressure on that, and that is not breaking. So it doesn't seem to... Obviously, it's going to be weaker, but it's definitely stronger than um, I thought it would be. And that is what happens when you power cuts out. But yeah, when you change filament, it's not as strong. It has continued the print. I have to excuse the fluff on there. I'm zoomed in somewhat. So yeah, uh, not so good when you um, change filament. However, um, the, if you pause it, quickly change filament, the less heat that's going to be lost, the better that's going to bind together. Um, but it just feels like when it resumes a print it purposely puts down like a, a thicker first layer to make it um, bind more which is why it's um, bubbled out a little bit so while the finish isn't going to be perfect it's nice and strong if you do have a power failure when you change filament not so much um, I'm guessing you've got to just really Try and do that as quick as you can. Um, but yeah, that is how you do both. And there are results for it. Thanks a lot for watching. Drop us a like, comment and subscribe.